Welcome once again to Maui and Storytime. Today we're reading How to Hide a Lion at School by Helen Stevens. Next time we will read How to Hide a Lion so you know where the story started. Well, let's dive straight in. How to Hide a Lion at School Iris and her lion went everywhere together. The lion was the town hero because he once rescued the mayor's best candlesticks from some robbers. But there was one place where they couldn't go together, and that was school. Iris's teacher, Miss Holland, said lions weren't allowed at school. The lion didn't want to be apart from Iris, though, so every day he would sneak after her. But no matter where the lion hid, behind the whiteboard, inside the piano, behind the children's coats, Miss Holland always found him. I've got eyes in the back of my head, she'd say, and she'd send him home. But one day, instead of going straight home, the lion thought he'd have a nap in a nice sunny spot outside the school, so he could still hear the children playing in the playground. But his nice sunny spot was actually a bus. <laughs> the children weren't going out to play today. They were going on a school trip. Nobody noticed the sleeping lion as they got on the bus. And the lion was very surprised when he woke up. What was happening? When, where was he going? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and The bus pulled up outside a big building, and all of the children trooped out. The lion waited till they'd all gone in, and then he sneaked in after them. He found lots of good places to hide. First, he hid in a clock. Then, he hid in an aeroplane. Then, he hid in a suit of armor. But then, they came to the ancient Egypt room. And that's where Iris spotted him. Oh no, said Iris. Miss Holland will see you. We'll have to find you a better place to hide. Luckily, everyone was going to the loo. And that gave Iris an idea. She fetched as many toilet rolls as she could carry and wrapped the lion up like an Egyptian mummy. It was a perfect disguise. Well, almost perfect. Until an old lady walked past with a tickly nose. Ah, ah, achoo, sneezed the old lady. A tissue, thought the lion, and he handed her the end of one of his toilet rolls. Thank you, how handy, said the old lady. I just need a little bit more. But as she tugged at the paper, the lion unraveled. A lion, screamed the old lady. He'll eat us all. He's not that kind of lion, said Iris. But the security guards ordered him out of the museum just the same. Miss Holland looked very cross too. The lion found a hiding place outside and waited till the children trooped back onto the bus. Then he hitched a lift on a lorry behind them. It was very windy and rainy and the lion had to hold on tight. The wind blew harder. It blew the leaves off the trees. 
then it blew the twigs off the branches and then it blew over a whole tree crash the bus screeched to a halt the whole road was blocked well this bus isn't going anywhere said the driver but how will we get back to school said miss holland it was wet and windy and far too far to walk the lion looked at them anxiously the children looked very tired and cold he knew miss holland was cross with him but he had to go and help so he tiptoed down from the lorry not that lion again said miss holland but he's come to rescue us said iris we just need to climb on his back they all held on tight even miss holland then with one huge leap the lion jumped right over the fallen tree hooray then the lion carried them all the way through the town and back to school the townspeople clapped and cheered what a kind lion said miss holland i always said so and from that day on the class never used the school bus again they always traveled by lion you're much better than a bus said iris well that's the end of the story for today how to hide a lion at school by helen stevens join us again next time here on my weird story time don't forget to subscribe share and like bye for now